Another good photographic feature in Elements is the ability to match one image to another. Open up this one right here, in Elements Editor, of course. With the image open, go up to the word Enhance and go down to Photo Merge, lots of cool stuff in here. Go down to Style Match. Now what you have is our image on the right, that's the after. The before, over here, the style image, represents one of these down here. For example, I want it to be a little bit more grayscale. Well, I've got what's called a hotel silver here. I can drag that into here, and it's going to change that one. You say, well, it didn't change the whole thing. It matched characteristics, not tone. But if you go down here, transfer the tones. I like using that one, actually. And you get more of that. You say, well, this is kind of limited down here. I agree. If you click the plus button right here and say add style, say from the organizer, well, you can add your own. Hey, I did this really cool special effect, or I have this really neat photo. I love the color in it. and Maybe I would like to use that one. You could check it and click add selected photos. Click done. And there it is. I like this one. Let's go to this one here. It's called Ghost Town. Kind of looks like a ghost town to me. Okay, let's transfer the tones. You don't have to. I kind of like that, though. I think that works good. All right. Now, I want to fix it a little bit. Play with it. Up here, you have an intensity. Intensity is like having this image above the original, and you're lowering the transparency until you see a blending of what you like. You can also influence the clarity and the details. Let's take the intensity back up, though. You have an eraser here for style. Well, the river should be normal. Everything else should be this. So I'm going to go to the eraser. You can choose a different size brush if you want to. And when I click in here, it's, in a sense, masking that area. That's really all it's doing. It's just masking it. But it's bringing back, I believe that's the Thames, but it's bringing back the river. Now, if you say, hmm, I wish I hadn't done that, you can go to the Style Painter and bring it back. Now, down here, you have a Soften Stroke Edges, Strokes here. If you want to soften that up a little bit, you can. If you like what you see, click Done. It takes a second for it to do it. Actually, it might take a minute to do it. And there you go. Now, what I love about what it did is it took it as a layer up here, and here's the original. All I gotta do is turn it off. And what we did on the river is simply a layer mask. So although we've really changed this image when you think about it, if we change our mind, it's very easy. We could get rid of that layer and start again, or you could try changing a blending mode. Here's a good one for you, difference. Or if you just want to bring back more of the original, lower the opacity. Matching a style from one image to another. Tell you what, let's go ahead and save this one. Just click Save. Leave everything alone here, that's fine. Just make sure it's in Restoration 2, which it should be. Click Save. On to the next.